Horizon Society. Yo, yo, what's going on, all my people out there in the sports world and in the zone land? You know what yeah. you tapped into, but if you don't, you're not tapped into the zone sports podcast. You know what I mean? On what half for your host, your boy Big V. You know what I mean? For my people out there on the SoundCloud, you can hear my co host or on the YouTube, you can see him. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's going on, my guy? What's up, Big Vito? It's your boy Cool C. It's your boy C Double O L. What the hell? It's your boy Corey. Never telling the same old story. And for the cats checking in on YouTube, man, we got a sign for you out back. That's my name, Corey C O R E Y. You know what I'm saying, man? We repping, man. What's good, Big Vito? Man, I'm good, bro. You know what I mean? I'm 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 glad. I'm glad we here. I'm ready to do this pie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get the sports talk going. But before we kick it off, you know, I gotta let them know who we sponsored by. We sponsored by my brand, Sky Zone Society. Make sure you shopping at skyzonesociety.bigcartel.com for all your teas, your hats, your candles, all that. You know what I mean? Shout out to my guy Corey. He rocking that that vintage, that retro yeah. oil painting concert T shirt. Still fresh and crispy. I too. see it, man. You I had to be careful how I wash it because I didn't want it to mess up mm. in, any of this. I want to keep it crisp and fresh. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fresh I love to it. death. You had to be there. You had to be at the oil painting. Yeah, you concert did. To understand, man. Yeah, you had to be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh-huh. Corey, my guy, how are you, man? What's good with hey, you, bro? You good? Hey, the time, the time has come. It's come. The time it's, has come. It's big, come my, to reveal uh, to, it, baby. To, to, to Zone Land, Big Vito knew this about two weeks ago. Friends and family knew it about a good two or three weeks ago. It's time to let the Zone Land know. Your boy, C-O-O-L, is really saying what the hell, because he's about to be a girl dad, and he's happy about it. I'm extremely happy. Yeah. Enjoying the ranks of you and everybody else that's experiencing Parenthood, man, super excited. Man, uh, baby girl is expected to be here around July the 6th, so she was almost an Independence Day baby, but it's yeah. going to be a long time before she's independent. So, you know, man, I'm happy about that. I want to I shout out to everybody, family, friends, you, um, everybody who showed me love on Facebook, man, because I'm going to need the help. You know what I'm saying? It's showing, showing the love. I appreciate the love, man. Now, now I'm about to know what it's going to feel like. So I'm super ecstatic. want to thank everybody out there. Shout out to my wife who blessed me with the permission to announce it on Facebook last night. Because if it ain't on Facebook and it ain't on social media, you know, cats don't think that it happens. So I, I want to just scream it from the mountaintops that I got a little girl on the way. Her name will be Corey, but it's going to be spelled K-O-R-I. I'm about to get a C. My homeboy can make another sign to, to, to take that one down and to put my baby girls up in the back. I can't wait. I love can't wait. it. I yeah. love it, man. I'm loving it, man. Shout out to my guy, Corey, over here and the whole Smith family. You know what Yes, I mean? sir. Loving it, man. Yo, blessings to y'all. You know what I mean? Like you said, Appreciate you know, my brother. I've been new a few weeks. You know what I mean? I'm glad he can yeah. shout it to the to the rooftop how he been waiting on. Can't wait. You know what I mean? He can't wait. He excited. I love it, man. I know you're gonna enjoy it, man. This parent thing is is, is difficult, but it's 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 rewarding, man. I'm glad there you I'm, go. I, I can't wait for you to experience it, man. Yeah, man. Really what what's been good with you this week, brother? Man, I've been uh I've been doing, man. I just been. Working on a lot of uh, content pieces, you know what I mean, behind the scenes. Um, okay. Trying to get ready for our Facebook page launch. Doing that. Okay. Behind the scenes. Word. Doing some just doing just behind the scenes. Okay. Let's sum it up, man. I've been behind the scenes, man. My daughter just turned eight this Saturday this past. Yo, Saturday. salute! You get the I mean? horns for that. You yeah, got I, the horn, I got it. I got it. The horn. Are you right? I got it. The horns for that. Man. I'm in that horn, mood. Man. You got a horn that. Mm-hmm. You about to verb that thing right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to do that. Got to do that. <laughs> That's what's eight. up. It was it was awesome. Of course, we had Mother's Day. You know what I mean? There you go. It was good. Shout man. out to all the mothers out there. Shout out to those who don't have the luxury of having them. I want to shout them out. I yeah. know this is a tough triggering day um, for them as well. So I want to make sure that we, man, we ain't forgot about y'all, man. Absolutely not, man. You know what I mean? Let's get into some sports talk, of course. Yeah. Let's you know do what it. I mean? You know, we got, yo, of, of course, we're going to talk about the NBA. We got to talk about the NBA. Love the NBA. Love the NBA, man. The playoffs have been crazy. You know what I mean? Some things have been going on. Of course, you know, John Morant is probably out for the season, as y'all know. Or, or if you don't yeah. know, 
You know what I mean? He's probably yeah. out for the season with a uh, not kind of sure what kind of injury, some kind of leg injury. You know, definitely I mean? like yeah, kind of like the, the the knee injury with Jordan Poole. You know, kind of you know he kind of tugged at it. It didn't look that bad to me, but that's only mm -hmm. if you're asking. Uh, but yeah, he, he's out right now. They're saying for the rest of the playoffs. You know like, what I mean? I hate that our stars are dropping, man. It's really the first round was so good. Yeah, second round is still good, but man, yeah. it's like man, it's, it's almost gonna be like who's the healthiest team left at this <sighs> point it seems like you're right man and you know last pod we discussed tyler hero carrying you know carrying off that little that hardware for six man of the year so we're gonna continue with the hardware talk as yeah. of a couple of days ago if you don't know or if you do know the nba mvp was announced a lot of people yeah. had some things to say but so the winner was Nikola Djokovic. You might know him as the Joker for the Denver yes, Nuggets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Carrying home that hardware for the second straight year. You know what I Two. mean? Let me hit the horns for that. Got to. Got to horn or, that. Or, or 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 should we not horn it? Oh, I don't know, Corey. What's your what's your thoughts, man? On, on no. Joker winning I, the back the back. Let's put some emphasis and some respect. Yeah. Um, Back to back season MVP, Corey. What are your thoughts, man? My thoughts are this. My thoughts are that I don't watch a lot of Denver games. They're in the mountain time zone, mountain west time zone. And I can't even count on one hand how many Denver games I watch. Now, they stated that his stats, um, Joker's stats was better than it was last year. He won it last year. Yeah. Um, so obviously I don't think that they're lying about that. Now I will admit my bias towards Giannis or um, you know, MB. And I I was thinking it was gonna be one of them. Um, I was really leaning more towards Giannis. I wanted to see uh, um Joel win it. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Um man, it is 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 Jokic doing it like Giannis. Woo, I, I got it incomplete because I haven't really, they don't show a lot of these Denver games, Big V. And when they do show them, they're coming on at like damn 10, 10, 10, 30, 10, 45 at night. Yeah. I will be open and honest to say, I don't know if he deserves it. Now, far as Philly and, and Milwaukee, I, I mean, you see those games almost once a week throughout the 82 game regular season. And I really, honest, that being said, I felt like one of them got it or uh, should have had it. but. Man, look, if you're saying that Jokic had a better season, and it, it is a regular season, that's what I keep trying to tell myself when it comes to these awards. Um, man, look, if his numbers were better than that, then I, I I guess I don't see a problem with it. I just wish that they showed Denver more. Um, and one thing I'll say before I let you rock is that, you know, with uh, you know, with Jamal Murray not being there, um, you know, and still, you know, getting to the playoffs. Um I, you know, um, and I think there was another another guy, gosh, his name is, is escaping me right now. Um, but to still bring them to the playoffs in the West, um, I, I and, and with it being regular season, like I guess it is something to be said for that. Whereas, you know, uh, with the exception of recently where Giannis had, you know, Middleton and, and Holiday and, and and Bobby Porter, you know, he had his full staff. Um, and then you can argue that even though you had the trade that went down with Philly in the middle of the year. Um, you know, I, 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 gosh, I was leaning towards MB, but look, if he did all that with, with, without, you know, Murray and the other guy that's escaping my name, I'll look it up and bring it up before the segment's over with. I guess I can't argue that. You know, <laughs> when I first heard the news, man, I admit, I, 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 I didn't like it. I admit I didn't like Joker winning the 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 back to back MVP, um, but I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save my thoughts on that for here in a second, but um about about the reasons why, but when I sat down and really thought about it, Corey, I thought about it like you, I really haven't seen a lot of Denver basketball a lot live that is I you normally catch the highlights just because of you know of the coast that we on you know what I mean yeah. compared to where they at. But man, Corey, I want to read something to you, man. The four-time All-Star averaged 27.1 points per game, 13.8 rebounds, 
7.9 assists, one and a half steals, and just under a block per game to lead the 48 win Nuggets in every statistical category. Gosh. Gosh, man. I want to right? core in the zone lane. I want to remind y'all to the people that aren't really familiar with who, who, who uh, 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 Jokic is. Jokic is. He's a center. These yeah. are center stats. Center stat, not point guard, not small forward. These yeah. are center stats. I also want to read something else. Jokic became the first player in league history to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. Gosh. Corey, I want to read something else to you. <laughs> Joel Embiid. Point, his averages first in the league, 30.6 points per game. It fifth in the league in rebounds at 11.7. 46 in the league in assists at 4.2 per game. Corey, those stats are impressive. Those are some impressive stats, dog. Let me tell you, man. And without Michael Porter Jr., that's who I was thinking about. Okay, got it, got it. Michael Porter Jr. I mean, oh my. When you put it like that, man, I got to kind of get the ass to the Joker. You can't get mad at it, right? but, but But then again... With everything that the Philly organization has been through with Ben Simmons this year <laughs> and Joel having to account for his bullshit on and off the court, and he's still putting up 30 and 30 and almost 12. <laughs> and keep in mind, he didn't get harder until ne- damn near the end of the season. And it's not like Harden, you argue that. It's not like Harden, you know, added, added to what he was doing. That's not Houston's Harden. No, it's not. It's a different Harden, man. Man, it's it's tough. It could have went either way. <laughs> but what? But what I don't. What, what? Here's my knock, though. And this is getting back to why I didn't like Jokic winning. Winning. Okay. Corey, these are rhetorical questions I'm going to ask you because I already know the answer. Okay. Did Kobe ever win the uh, MVP twice back to back? Don't worry about it. Did Jordan ever win? J- Jordan won it back to back. I'll skip him. The Iverson? Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. The Shaq? No, nah, he didn't. No, he didn't. Hmm. Got it. Got it. Corey, those people I just named could have easily won the MVP every single fucking year they was in the league. Mm-hmm. Easy, and the fact Kobe didn't even win it back to back is way beyond me. Conversation yeah. for another pod. Oh. <sighs> and the fact yeah. that, like, I just want to know, like, NBA, what are we doing? Like, I mean, because one could argue, like I said, that those players could have won it back to back. Like, I mean, what, like, like one could argue too that. You know, Steve Nash didn't deserve to win those back-to-back MVPs. But I digress. Yep. I digress. I just feel like, you know, you know, what 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 are we doing? Are we gonna spread it around and let everybody get it? Or are we gonna really, really give it to the person that won it? Because if we're gonna keep it G, LeBron could damn near have won it every year. Like easy. there you go. It, it, especially his Cavalier days. Like, just stop it. I just want to know, like, what playing field we on. Because if we're going to give it to somebody different and skip it around, it's MB's turn. Sorry, it just is. If we're doing that. Yeah. Joker won it last year, which could which could have went to MB last year, too. Let me remind the people. Could have went to MB, too, last year. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? I'm just confused. That's all. Like, if, if it's going to be okay for the real MVP to win it every year, Let's let the real MVP get it. I don't give a fuck if it's LeBron every year. Let him get it. I I, I yeah. would have cared if Kobe or I, especially Iverson. Iverson could have got it five years straight. What are we doing? You shitting me? Facts. Like I just want to know, like, what are we doing? That's all. Like, what are we doing? If if that's what we're doing, make it be known. That's what we're doing. But if we're gonna spread it around because the not be well, 
LeBron could get it every year, so we got to give it to somebody else. Okay, if, if that's what we're doing, then you're let letting narrative play a part in it. That's so all. if you're going to play the narrative, then let's play the narrative. Then. Let's play the narrative, dog. Let's, let's do, have a let's Hollywood ending then. Let's exactly. do that because we all because we all we all could say, okay, yeah, let's give it to the person that deserve it every year for real, for real, because we know those people I named could have got it every year. And like I said, the re- the fact that Kobe didn't get it back to back seasons. Out of all his years, is beyond me. But you giving it the Joker, though? I don't know. I get. I, I know the vote. I yeah. Know, I know. I know. I know the voters put him in, and I'm not knocking Joker. I just want to know like what we doing. That's all. That's it. It's the content and criteria that's just been inconsistent since the yeah. inception. Yep. Yep. Like, like if we check, like, do we need to change the name? I don't know. I don't right? know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I mean the NBA. That's I mean, fair. I mean, the NBA is, is is sometimes when I mentally think about it, it bugs me out. Even down like and I, and, and and there's no knock on this, and all due respect to to my former Laker guy, but like it, like should Jerry West really be the logo? <laughs> like, but that's another conversation. That's another conversation. You right? You know what I mean? Right. Like like can a, can a guy that that won that 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 got the shit beat out of him by the Celtics stand there fourteen years straight? And and won the fucking finals MVP and still lost the, the chip. Should he really be? I digress. You know what I mean? Another conversation. I, just, I you know what I mean we'll have that conversation another day. But <laughs> it, it to, to I'm just speaking on that because it speaks to the the narrative of the NBA almost. I don't know. Yeah. Like 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 what have we been doing from Jump Street? That's true. Like like Jordan should be the logo. We all know that. Stop playing with me. Like, like, stop. no question. Like, just stop. Like, just. Stop. But anyway, man, it, it it's just funny. It's just funny. Congrats to the Joker. No and doubt. And uh, better let better not let uh, better luck next year. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna keep saying that for the next three or four years, though. Better luck next year. Uh, then he's gonna be he's gonna be too beat up to contend for it anymore. Man. And uh, you know what? That's a perfect segue, Corey. I'm glad you said beat up. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen oh, of the sports of the sports world and of the zone sports podcast. You know, um this weekend something something funny came across my way that I, I really couldn't wait to get to the pod to address. <laughs> so much I sent this over to my man, my co-host Corey over here. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is this is <laughs> so funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, is la- this is beyond laughable. This is beyond laughable in my, uh-uh. in my in my opinion. And I'm gonna let my co-host rock first on this. <laughs> so I want to shout out to the Bleacher Report for posting this on their Instagram as well. Yeah. So they posted this photo, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, if you're watching the pod at this point in time. The photo is up on the screen because I will be doing this in my edit. I have to post this photo. The photo is up now. So um, the Bleacher Report said that Shaq says Rudy Gobert wouldn't be able to guard him. Rudy Gobert then went and commented under the post and I quote, I would lock his ass up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you just let me know when I can rock. I, 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 what are your thoughts, Corey? Okay, okay. First of all, when you sent me this text with this ridiculous, horrendous story, I thought that your phone got hacked. I thought that whatever Twitter account you saw this come from got hacked. Because I'm looking at this, Big V, and I'm saying this is a joke, right? This is a practical joke. Like, this is this is what you want me to fall for the banana in the tailpipe? You know, because I read it. Because I ain't going to, because I, I think I was at work when you sent it to me. And when I read it, yeah, I kind of didn't read it or I kind of glanced at it where it was like, oh, Shaq said that Gobert basically had nothing for him. Right. Like, okay, cool. But then I read at the bottom. My After friend. work, where it said, <laughs> Gobert responds and said, I will lock Shaq down. Okay, time out. You're going to lock him down where? 
Okay, let me tell you something, Big V. The only way Gobert is going to lock down Shaq is if he becomes the sheriff, Shaquille O'Neal commits a crime, and then he locks him in jail. That's the only way he's going to lock Shaq down. Okay, let, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Uh... Gobert, I like you, dude. Okay? I root for you. I remember it was either two or three years ago, you got snubbed from the All-Star and you was crying about it, literally crying. And I don't joke at grown men crying because we in a society, we right. get on NBA and, and athletes as a whole where it's like, oh, they don't care nothing but about the check. They don't really care. Yeah, and especially in the NBA where we get on cap for load management, like, oh, go better don't do yeah. any of that. Yeah. And I do felt like he got snubbed that year from the All-Star. He you did. know, and then it's kind of like, he does crazy things like making Spray. fun of COVID. Spray COVID? <laughs> Spray COVID. With Don and I was wrong. I told my wife, I said, that ain't going to fly because Donovan Mitchell, we could, like, he about reminds me of my personality to a certain degree. And I mean that by this. Like, we could laugh and joke. But, dog, when we're trying to be serious, dog, playtime's over. Like, that was a real big deal. Yeah. Right? And I know he apologized, so we moved forward. But I can understand that Gobert, not Gobert, but Mitchell still being tight. Oh, after yeah. that, like, okay, dude, oh, yeah. I rock with you, but just kind of leave me alone. I just need you for basketball. And to Mitchell's and Gobert's credit, they have still been able to coexist um, in spite of that. I thought they was done. But let me move on. You know, so he he, he does the all-star, you know, campaign, of I got snubbed, and then he plays around with COVID with Donovan Mitchell and the rest of the team and the reporters. And so now it's kind of like, man, Gobert, man, it's like, dude, man, what are you doing? And then it's kind of like, Things get a little bit quiet. It's like, man, yeah, go bear. Like, again, you know, maybe he would be more popular if he played on the East Coast, at least by our standards, because, again, those Utah games, I mean, unless you're up at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, you really ain't going to see him like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so it's kind of like, man, okay, he's, he's an underrated guy, you know? And then it's kind of like he says stuff like this. And it's I'm having a love-hate relationship with go bear. Dude, I would love more clarity on this scenario. Are you talking about the Shaquille O'Neal that played for the Lakers? No, you ain't talking about him. He he's would destroy you. He, I, 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 can, I can tell you the one he's talking about. He clearly has to be talking about the one in Boston. <laughs> That's the, I, my, Big V, I might even give you the one in Phoenix. I may, may give you the one in Phoenix. But the Orlando Shaq, you locking no. him down how? No. The, 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 the Lakers Shaq, no. how? No. The Miami Shaq, no. how? No. Let me know. I'm, I'll give you Cleveland. I will give you. I will give you Phoenix, Cleveland, and Boston, maybe. But let me tell you something, man. I think that Gobert would not. He would have. He he would have been on his ass so much <laughs> with Shaq because that was Shaq. No, because Shaq, he'll be the first to tell you that I wasn't skilled. But he used his like twelve foot body frame. Okay, twelve foot eight body frame to throw your ass all over the court. And ain't nothing you can do about it. At best, you can hope to get him in foul trouble and get him out the game or doing the hacker shacks. But that ain't got. But that ain't what he said. He said lock him down. He said I will lock his up. ass up. Come. I'm done. You you go ahead and finish that. I, I can't. this is the most ridiculous thing I've heard. This is ridiculous, Big V. Corey. Jesus Christ, man. Corey, Corey, I'm, when, I'm, I thought the same thing you said. I said, well, wait a minute. There were there were many versions of Shaq. That's right. But when I, yep. I said, he has to be talking about <laughs> the one that took like a million dollar contract to play for Boston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had to be talking about that one. And I'm still skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean? Corey, let's just say, for instance, for play play purposes, if you will. Okay. He's talking about the Shaq in Orlando. Mr. Rudy, <laughs> look at me, Mr. Rudy. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Many, many, many men, many men, <laughs> many, 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 many men <laughs> had tried. That were way thorough than you. And way bigger than him, by the way, too. And by the way, this was the 90s players, not you soft ass 2020 motherfuckers. No. Say that. And, 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 and go back, I get it. You know, you were a defense, you're a defensive guy, can win defensive player of the year and stuff like that. I got it. Got it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But let me tell you, 
there were many other defensive players of the year before you <laughs> that got knocked on their ass. And, and, got, and, and, got, and, and, and got and got glass broken on them as well from the backboard that Shaq was shattering. Lord, Rudy, 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 stop it! Uh, uh, got, okay, you weren't talking about the Orlando Shaq. You were talking. Oh, about oh, okay. Which one were you talking about, Vito? The, the, the one with the Lakers with Kobe. Mr. Rudy, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. No, no. He was still tearing backboards down then. They had to they, they they had to build the the rims and the goals a different way because of Shaq. They had to Shaq proof that thing. That's Sorry. right. They did. They did. You, no, no. Oh, you thought you was gonna catch him slipping with the one down there in Miami when he got with D Wade. Mm. Rudy, Rudy, look at me. No, <laughs> no, no, no. He was more refined then. He was he was a little bit more pissed off. Because because the Lakers situation, but he yep. was more refined too. He was more smarter. No, no, yep. no, no. Rudy, stop it. No, you would never <laughs> lock Shaq's ass up. No, nigga, park. lock him, lock him up. No, and nigga, Come nigga, on, no, man. no, no, nigga, on, no. no. Stop it, Rudy. No, Sha- no, no. Listen, <laughs> Shaq is the greatest center of all time. Facts. Sorry. Sorry. Say that. If somebody want to say, yo, there's Lajuan, then Shaq, I give niggas that. A- absolutely. No doubt. Because there was one man that didn't that didn't lock Shaq up but made him look stupid. That was Akeem Olajuwon in the finals that year. Shaq didn't know what to do with that, 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 that mm-hmm. little dream Shaq. Shaq had, he couldn't do there that with go. it. He couldn't there do that with it. It was only one. And you were no Hakeem. That's right. <laughs> and, and not even Hakeem could, 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 could lock him up now. That's let's right. Be clear. Lock him up. And, yeah, and let's yeah, let's be clear. He uh, Hakeem caught a young Shaq. He caught a young Shaq who, 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 who I mean? didn't really quite seen that and had an experience. That was Orlando Shaq. Yeah, yeah, but no, sir, not you, not you, sir. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, boy. Corey, just when you thought you heard it all, man. Jesus. Just Corey, I, listen, man. Let's. What the what what the hell, Rudy? You know what I mean? What, Tra- what the hell? What, what the hell, man? What, what a transition <laughs> into our what the hell segment brought to you by who is it brought to you by, man? It is brought to you by me. It is co-sponsored by my unborn daughter. Oh Gotta shout her out. Co-sponsored by Corey Smith, me. And my little unborn baby girl, Big V. Let's go. You know, I don't. I I check. I check the numbers, man. Okay. And um, we titanium like, still. Man, I'm talking about. We're about to move from titanium to uranium. Oh. That's where we about to go. Like we about to hit them bag on rings on Saturn. Like this is just exploded way way more than I could just bear from. Now we haven't gotten paid for this because we do this for the people. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? For the soldiers, baby. You know, this what the hell segment is, is brought to you by me. These thoughts are mine of my own. But let me tell you something, man. Your damn self. It's my damn self. <laughs> Solo tip. But let me tell you what, man. I need all y'all on my back for this one here, man. Oh, man. Because I like to keep these what the hells. When I do it, I like to have a comedic twist okay. to them. I can't do that this week, Big V. Mm. I can't do it this week because I was so, my blood was boiling. When I heard about this, mm. um, I had to run out to the store and I came back and I heard about this. If y'all don't know, Mother's Day was this past Sunday. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the mothers out there. Shout out, baby. And then we get a report from Dave McMiniman regarding a fan at Dallas in regards to Chris Paul, his <sighs> mother, his wife. And his children. Dave McMenamin reported, and I'm quoting this from CBSSports.com, Big V, reported that a Dallas fan put his hands, mm. his hands on Chris Paul's mother and that his wife was also pushed. Paul's children was also in attendance, according to Dave McMenamin's source. They felt unsafe. Paul echoed these sentiments on Twitter after the game, stating, you want to find players for saying stuff to the fans, but the fans can put their hands on our families. If that, end quote, Chris Paul wrote. Now, Big V, again, 
I, I'm gonna get back to the laughing and joking next week. And look, I, I mean, want to real quick. Go ahead. I want to preface. Go ahead. I want to preface your statement by saying you've been very vocal about how the NBA should get rid of front court court side seats. Yeah. I don't know where that was sitting. I just want to put that out there. Absolutely. You know what I mean, before this we, one, uh, this particular one was not directly front court. This was about maybe I'd say about a good five or six rows back. And Big V, when I heard this story, man, I'm like. You know, part of me decided it was, was I was really going back and forth on the do the what the hell segment on this because I'm, I'm I'm about sick of giving these idiots more of a platform yeah. than they already have. And luckily, we don't know this guy's name. I don't really care what his name is because I don't want that. I don't want to get this guy any fame. It's all over Twitter. Just Google Chris Paul Mother Mother's Day. It's it's all over the Bluebird, right? And you know, there's been a debate of how should visiting players handle the accommodations of their family when they're on the road. And some people are split to whereas, hey, man, nah, depending upon where we're going, man, nah, I ain't bringing my family. I don't even want no trouble with that, yeah. right? And then there's some that's like, nah, F that. We go wherever the hell we want to go. And I tell you what, I'm uh, we gonna we gonna uh, uh, speaking from an NBA player standpoint. Right. Oh, I'm gonna purchase tickets for cousins, uncles, or whatever to make sure that my family is straight because I'm on the court, I can't do anything, and I'm torn on this because I feel like idiots like this should not outweigh the power of good, right? Like I'm a 49ers fan, and there's always the Bay Area rivalry with the Raiders. Um, we typically only play each other during preseason, getting the NFL football real quick. Um, and typically you hear about it every single year because we normally play them. Um, well, now it's in Las Vegas, but back in Oakland, we normally used to play them at Oakland and it never fails. An Oakland Raiders fan and a San Francisco 49ers fan get into it. Like it got to the point to where hypothetically speaking, if I had to go to a Raiders game, assuming that they were still in Oakland, as far as I know, it's Las Vegas, they, they're totally different. Um, I probably wouldn't, I would probably go, but I probably wouldn't wear my 49ers jersey just out of shit, because that's my father's team. So I just, just you know, sometimes the greater good, and I'm always torn between that, because it's like, man, I don't want to let these guys win. That's me being stubborn, Yeah. right? And so I think of my wife, who I would do anything for. Yeah, I think of my mother, who you and I would do anything for. Yeah, I think of your kids and, and, and my and my unborn. That of course, without question, they would do anything for. And them being put in harm's way because of this guy. And here, here's also what I've been hearing was that, oh, but we don't know the exact age of this guy. Um, you know, some may say he's 18, some may say he's as young as, as 13 or 14. I really don't care. It looked like that he was being escorted out by either his mother, his yeah. sister. We don't know who this woman mm -hmm. is that's escorting him out. But Big V, I'm getting tired of this. I had an incident when I was young where I had to learn a lesson um, real quick. My father and I are huge East Carolina Pirate fans down in Greenville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And game day traffic is freaking ridiculous. When we used to go to the games, we could never park at the parking lot. We used to always park across the street off of, um, 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 not too far from the stadium across at this pizza shop. And so I was probably about maybe nine or 10 years old at the time. And so we're cutting in between cars because the game is over with. We're going back to my dad's car. And me being stupid, not knowing any better, I slapped the back of the trunk of this guy's car because he was in the red light. I, me, a kid being totally stupid. My dad was about two or three steps ahead of me, so he didn't see it in this loud. And so the guy who I wish I knew his name, I got to give him credit. He saw what I did and he pulled over to the gas station where my father and I was at. And to his credit, he was just as nice as he wanted to be. And he was like, he didn't say not one word to me. He dealt with my dad. And he says, sir, do you know that your son just smacked the back of my car? And my dad looked at me and he said, Corey, did you just do that? And of course I couldn't lie. I got, I was, I mean, it had me cold, man. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, why did you do it? And I said, I don't know. Again, I'm about nine or 10 years old. And he thanked the gentleman for letting him know. He said, my son will not be doing this again. 
I will take care of it. Have a great day. And that long, that long ride home from Greenville to Kingston felt like it was 38 hours. And I ain't get no spanking or nothing like that, but it was more so of an educational point to where as, you know what, son, what you did today, given certain circumstances, could have went way worse. This guy and me could have gotten to a confrontation over something you did that was stupid. Getting back to the Chris Paul scenario, and I know we got to wrap, this same thing, either, I don't want, look, as a future parent, I don't want to keep, I used to talk like this a whole lot, and, I, and I'm kind of, parenthood is already starting to change how I view things, because my parents didn't teach me about smacking the hood or back of cars and stuff like that. It was something stupid that I did. But I will say this, either this guy didn't get taught, or he got taught and he's choosing to ignore what teenagers do do, and he needs to learn from it. And right now, I think he's banned from 20 to 2023. That's what, that's next year? Yeah. Um, you know, Chris Paul, to me, has every right to whoop his ass. I, I, I'm i sorry. When, when do we, when, what is the cutoff age for when we excuse youth behavior? Teenage Absolutely. Behavior? What they do, Big V, if I go out, if I'm 14, 15 years old, and I go out and do an armed robbery in most states, they sit up here and wait till I turn 16 and charge me as an adult. Yes, they do. Speak so on. if you're ready to put hands on people, of uh, people's family, especially women, on Mother's Day, his mother, his family, Chris Paul would never forget this. Do you have, as you have totally burnt this in their memory for the rest of your life and a what the hell goes to you. And I'm telling you, he needs to get his ass whooped. That's my personal stance. Corey, I'm going to tell you like this, and I agree with everything you said. Um, You know, when you do things to people, that was your, that was your choice. That was your decision for you to do that. But what, you, what, what the flip coin of that is, you don't get to choose how the other person reacts there to what go. the fuck you did. You see what I'm yep. saying? You don't get to choose to do. You don't. You don't get to make that choice for them. You don't. You just don't. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, man, we appreciate y'all tuning in this week, man. You know, Word what I mean? up on sports podcast. That was a great what the hell segment. You know what I mean? I'm glad you. I'm gonna spoke keep it light for next week. We coming back. We coming I'm, back. I'm glad you spoke on that, man, because I seen that too. I seen that, man, and man, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you spoke on that, man. Shout out to Chris Paul, a North Carolina Word native, up. man. You know what I mean? Hope everything is all right involved in that situation. You know what I mean? And your peoples, man. Listen, y'all tune in every week, man, on YouTube and on SoundCloud. We appreciate y'all for doing so as Word well. Up. Thank you for watching the clips wherever you catching them at. You know what I mean? We're going to keep y'all posted on this official The Zone Sports Podcast Facebook page coming soon. Got a lot of stuff cooking up. It's going to be real good. We're going to a lot of some giveaways coming. Y'all just stay tuned, man. You know what I mean? Word up. Corey, I appreciate you as usual, man. You know what I mean? Yo, you know right I'm gonna hit you, up. you big time. Yes, God, sir. You no, know, you know I'm gonna hit you up this week, man. You know what I mean? Keep enjoying prepping for fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And tell the missus I said, what's up, man? And y'all just keep being safe, man. Until yeah, next time, man. Peace, my guy. Peace.